All right, here we are in a beautiful Chino Valley, Arizona day. Very cool. You know, I travel a lot of miles to find cars like this to bring to you. 1932 Ford five window coupe. All original Henry steel, Ford steel, with the exception of the 25 louver hood sides. We're gonna walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Not chopped, not filled, beautiful body. We get you up on the lift, original floor pans, original wood structure underneath. Um, 20, 30 year old restoration kind of thing, ret retro rod style restoration. All the trim and bright work on this car is all, appears to be all original to the, all Ford components. The fenders are just be beautiful. Has uh, upgraded uh, 15 inch wheels on it with 48 Ford trim rings and hubcaps. Maybe I just already mentioned the hood sides are 25 louver hood sides and they are uh, re upgraded ones. The hood tops here are original Henry, so is the grill shell. Has a factory frame with a VIN number where it belongs. Dropped headlight bar, 33 Ford uh, commercial headlights on it. Original front and rear bumper irons. It's hard to find them all this stuff like this, but uh, a lot of guys have studied this car when it comes to the steel and stuff, but it's just beautiful. Underneath the hood's a nice little Ford and a Ford horsepower. Has a 289, 66, 289, four barrel V8. Underneath the hood has a 39 Ford gearbox. 46, 48 banjo style rear end in the back. Just tastefully upgraded, dropped axle up front here, disc brake upgrade, juice brakes on it. Cal vent works. I've got a little cheat sheet here so you may hear it ruffling in the wind. It's a little bit windy here today. Original body fenders, bumpers, hood top, sun visor, grill insert, grill and insert. Non-original 25 louver hood sides. It's not chopped, not filled. Extremely nice drip rails on this one. You can see the spot welds on them the same way you really want to take a look at those. They haven't been filled over. It tells you what kind of body it was to begin with. The trunk, wait till we get in the trunk, it's just super nice. There's absolutely no evidence of any patch panels on this car and I did not feel any fender bead repairs. Nice chrome garnish moldings in it here. Factory style hardware like we talked about. Has a LeBaron Bonnie style interior in it. Upgraded uh, dash, cockpit style dash in it. Stuart Warner gauges. Again, 39 three-speed gearbox, working emergency brake, has a hot rod heater right here. They did install seat belts in it, but it, otherwise it has a original Ford seat in it. Put the cow vent up here, like that. Nice 36 Ford steering wheel. I'll probably repeat myself when I get over to the driver's side. Cow vent, the rear window does roll down. I've rolled it down. Look at the, uh, you can see all the brads here where they go in the original wood structure. Obviously a dry climate car. Tell how straight that body is just looking at it against the garage here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. It's got new chrome shocks up front. New window glass in it, all new glass in it. Original bumper irons, I mentioned that up front, but in the back here, the same dual exhaust. We will open the trunk and spend some time in the trunk with it for you. Has a new battery in the back. The battery's been mounted in the back. Paint on it's probably a single stage on it. You could pick it for a flaw here and there, but the car's just got good character, awesome steel. It's not a perfect finish, but it is a nice finish. She cleans up good. Let's put it that way. But uh, I wouldn't change a thing on this car just the way it is cosmetically. It's a very nice car. Dual Smitty mufflers on it, so it's got a good rapidy wrap to it. Talked about the disc brakes up front. Yeah, you can pick it for a good little marks here. Here's a little where somebody let the hood side hit when they lowered it down. You can find a little bit of check there in the paint. I believe it's an enamel paint. A 
again look at the hardware it's just really nice hardware on this one said I travel a lot of miles to do cars like to find cars like this to do a lot of guys have been calling me on uh, five window cars and if you're looking for one of the nicest bodies out there I can say this one's probably going to do the trick for you I like the 36 banjo window cranks out like it's supposed to look at these original OEM style sun visors on it not restored when's the last time you seen those again the dash is lightly modified with some nice gauges in it done cars for this gentleman before he always has some really nice fun stuff three speed We'll mention the tack auburn was not connected when they put it together. I imagine that wouldn't be a big deal to make the tack work. Those gauges are readily available. Fuel gauge is not working. Water temp gauge does work. We barely got it out of the shop warm. Oil pressure is about 50 pounds, which is nice for a small block Ford. Headliner all appears to be have been done on it. Switch wise, I want to get over these right, and he's going to get me corrected here. Um, this one here is the heater. the heater motor. This one's the cooling fan. This one here is the wiper, and these are the headlights right here. I just went over them with him, but sometimes the older we get, our memory is as long as it used to be, especially short term. Anyway. Again, door jam to door jam. I'll let you hear it run here. Too much fun. Kind of car, cosmetically, probably just leave this car just the way it is. Factory split bones up front, out back. Very much the kind of car you can drive. And definitely get attention with. Hang on to the end of the video. Thanks for listening to me. Okay, he's turning around so I can photograph the other side. Ford to Ford sound. Alright, we'll get you over here on the driver's side engine compartment. Very cool, like we talked about the walk around here. Nice to have a Ford and a Ford. Very nice. Ford firewall. Original firewall to this one. The van is on the location where it's supposed to be. We took a nice photo of that. Electric cooling fan. We were able to pull the uh, casting number up the side of the block. It's a C6, which would be a 66, 289. OEM style exhaust manifolds, keeps it from getting header leaks and stuff like that. It has an Edelbrock Performer intake manifold, RPM, and a carburetor on it. Looks like it probably has a Petronix installed in the distributor. Electronic ignition. We'll actually fire it up here for you. Right, got you over here on the passenger side. My amp alternator over on this side. Again, electric cooling fan uh, has a GM part number for that cooling fan. Just has that really nice stock feel to it. Right, it's a little breezy I want to get you in the trunk here and share the uh, beautiful Ford steel in this one we've actually already had it up on the lift here but you kind of get a feel for the uh, metal on this car look down in the corners here there's no peppering or pinholes or nothing dry climate kind of car I get way back into the corner here
All right, we got it up on the lift here like we promised. Uh, very solid car like we talked about during the walk around. I'm gonna share some stuff with you here. You've already seen the video of the trunk area. It's just gorgeous Ford steel car. It's hard to find them like this. Said that during the walk around. Look at the uh, lips bead on all the fenders are that way. I didn't a wasn't able to find any bead brakes on it. 46, 48 Ford rear differential in that era, completely gone through. Uh, juice brakes in the rear here. Floor pans, uh, spring's been uh, renewed in the back here, so the Traverse spring is very nice. Dual exhaust out the back. Floor pans on this car, all very nice. Fenders, inner fenders here is beautiful. Running boards, all Ford stuff. Battery cables come from the front up there, or batteries back here on it. And up here, there's an updated uh, master cylinder, dual reservoir master cylinder in it. It's been juiced up. Typical uh, period style retro upgrade on it. It's got a 39 Ford transmission. Has a characteristic where on deceleration, if you're on decel, sometimes or occasionally it'll pop out of uh, second gear. All you got to do is hold the shifter forward a little bit if you're decel and you'll be just fine. Get used to driving it. Bell housing uh, adapter here to the uh, 289 Ford V8. We did check the casting on this one. It's a C6 casting, which would mean a 66. We get to the fenders here too, up front. Beads are just beautiful. SoCal uh, uh, steering stabilizer, split wishbones up front, out here. Serviceable with Zerks. Grease points, dropped axle, little dropout cross member here is a nice little touch. Factory style uh, cast, cast iron exhaust manifolds for the 289 factory style. New shocks up front here, and again, those are GM style disc brakes. Get in here and show you the beads on the fenders. Felt every lip. Good rubber on it. Front tires have been buffed. These are OEM bumpers along with the rest of the sheet metal on it, other than the hood size that we talked about. Take you back through this way so you get another view of it. Then we'll get you a bird's eye. One thing I didn't point out is uh, you can look up in here and you'll see it has all the original wood structure or original, it's still done original. I'm sure the wood's been replaced at some time in its life. You'll see the wood floor panels there. Take you around the outside here and get you through this video. Beads are nice. You get a chance to look at the body there, the reflections on the body. Front tires have been buffed. Original grill shell, grill insert, correct color, dove gray. There you have it.